Hello students. Well, I am back here to teach you a new topic today. That's the importance of stuffing. Before going to the topic in detail, first let me tell you all what does the term stuffing means. Stuffing means to put the right person at the right post. इसका मतलब होता है सही आदमी को सही पोस्ट पे रखना. Okay? Now here you can see the topic. Importance of stuffing. Number one, what will be the benefit, or what what we can say, what are the importance? Okay, if you are going to put the right person at the right post. Number one, it helps to increase the performance of employee. See, if in an organization, if one person keeps on doing the same task again and again, after one month. Six month, one year, four year, five year. What will happen? Automatically, if that person is going and doing the same work again and again, his performance. What will happen? His performance will increase. So that is the number one point. Staffing helps to increase the performance of the employees. Second, it helps in continuous survival and growth. This is a very important. Survival and growth of what of the organization. I'm give an example. Suppose, एक ऐसी organization है जहाँ हम सही आदमी को सही post में रखते हैं. Okay, if you are going to put the right person at the right post, then what will happen? That person will keep on doing the same work again and again. And ultimately, what will happen? वैसा organization जहाँ सही आदमी को सही placement दिया जाता है. That organization can not only survive for long time period, but automatically that organization will also grow in size. So that is the second point. It helps not only the organization to survive, but also grow in size. Third, it helps to find competitive force in an organization. See, in staffing, what we are doing, we are always trying to put. Not only the right person at the right post, but also we are trying to find out the best person. We are trying to find out the best candidate. We are trying to find out the best employees for our organization. So what we are doing? We are trying to increase what competition also among whom? Among the employees. So that's why we are saying it helps to find competitive force in an organization. Next point number four. It has to make optimum use of human resources. See, if I am going to put a right person at the right post, my example let me give you. In my school, ke andar, accountancy subject, पढ़ाने वाले teacher accountancy ही पढ़ाते हैं, economics पढ़ाने वाले teacher अगर economics पढ़ाते हैं, business studies पढ़ाने वाले teacher अगर business studies पढ़ाते हैं. So what we are doing here? We are making the maximum use of that teacher. So that's why we say, Stephen. What does it do? It helps to make optimum use of human resources. And last point, it gives mental job satisfaction. It gives mental job satisfaction. It means what? If I am going to give you the job. According to your physical and mental ability, what will happen? You will be very much satisfied. Okay, so that's why I say it. It says that in staffing, if you are going to give the job to the employee according to the ability, what will happen? They will be mentally very much satisfied. So that's why we say it gives what mental job satisfaction also. If you really like my topic, please do like, share, and also subscribe my. channel thanks to all of you